Uh, call the meeting to order. Bolt. Here. Call. Gillum. Here. Carrad. Here. Finley. Here. Rutherford. Here. Seahorn. Here. And Salter. Here. Okay, we have a quorum. Okay, right. no, uh, we have no no one signed up. I guess was she signed up for citizens participation or for the public? Here, um, briefly, I'll address that. Um, it was a uh, it, it entered the waiting room under Julia's iPhone. Um, we attempted to contact with video and audio to ascertain why she was in attendance in the meeting. She did not sign up in advance for citizens participation or for comment in the public hearing. We were unable to connect video or audio upon prompting her. And so we've left her in the waiting room. And I'd just like the record to reflect that, but there's no citizen uh, participation. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, item number two, would anyone like to pull anything from the consent agenda? I'd like to pull item D. Anyone else? would entertain a motion to approve uh, item number two, except for item 2D. So moved. Who second. Is bolt, bolt. Yes, sir. Who is the second? Uh, Darren Mr. Rutherford. Gillum. Call a question, or call, call a roll, I guess. Bolt. Yes. Gillum. Yes. Herod? Yes. Finley? Yes. Rutherford? Yes. Seahorn? Yes. And Salter? Yes. Okay, item 2D, acknowledge the Global Spectrum BBA Spectre contract for fiscal year 2020 20, 20 and 2021 for management services at the heart of exposition. I had, uh, had this full, uh, I went been by out there, and of course, I noticed today the city employees are out there mowing and weeding and so forth. So, I just uh, on their schedule that they have showing some of the events for the fall, some of those have been canceled yet, they're still listed on there. And uh, the appearance of the buildings and so forth has just not been kept kept up to what we're used to, and uh, they get their attention somehow or another. We've spent you know, according to our financial information, we spent already spent half a million dollars, and uh, and I know the the virus has affected it. I mean, I could out mow my yard. I don't care. You know, uh, they can take care of the business. Of course, I was out there several times during the livestock show, and uh, I wasn't uh, you know pleased at all with the, some of the attendance or some of the uh, some of the. Uh, restrooms and stuff like that so i've kind of withheld my comments until uh, this came up of course uh, one thing on the 2021 20, 22 calendar they still don't have any uh you know entertainment schedule and i thought that's what they were going to do i'm just uh, you know personally i'm just totally disappointed in how it's gone so far I, we've been into it about six months and I think, you know, it's gone downhill instead of uphill. So, I mean, that's my personal opinion, and I'd probably deal with it as much as anybody does. Chance, would Chance, Chance, would you address that with them and kind of go down the laundry list and let them know that, uh, that several, of the, at least one of the commissioners, and maybe more if we get to looking, are, are not happy with their performance? And I know they deal – with events that are a long ways out there on the calendar. So uh, I'm, I'm not as concerned about that as I am the, the, if James is dissatisfied with the appearance, I've not been out there. So uh, I think we, we, it behooves them to, to, uh, to let, let them know that not, some of us are not happy. Absolutely, we will do that. <clears throat> uh, I, I think Joe, if I'm not, Incorrect. This is a five-year contract, so there's no renewal. There's just we're acknowledging it. That's correct, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as you guys are well aware, we can't contract out in excess of right. individual years. So this ratification of the same terms of the five-year contract, but will be done on an annual basis. Should we should we hold this until our first meeting in June, so that Chance has a chance to talk to them and and satisfy 
uh, Commissioner Herod and the other commissioners have an opportunity to go out there and observe, uh, kind of form their own opinion, so to speak. Chance, I don't recall. I think it, it's just fiscal year to fiscal year, so I don't see an impediment to doing that. Would entertain a motion to hold item 2D until the next meeting. So moved. Second. Second Commissioner Bolt, second by Commissioner Herod. Call the roll. Bolt. Yes. Gillen. Yes. Herod. Yes. Finley. Yes. Rutherford. Yes. Seahorn. Yes. And Salter. Yes. Chance, if you it, chance if you want one or more of the other uh, the commissioners to attend that meeting, I'd be happy to. I know James would and, yes. and maybe others. So at sure. sort of a quorum, uh, just jingle my chain if you want me to do something. Very it's last no, I'd be happy to. Ability than I do, and, and is more involved in the ag segment than, and I I just would yield to his judgment. Sure, will appreciate it. Okay, item Thank three. Consideration of a memorandum of understanding between the City of Shawnee and Central Disposal regarding delay of price increase due to COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Mayor and Commissioners, as you're all aware, we went out for an RFP for solid waste collection and Central Disposal is the only firm that submitted a, uh, a proposal to the City of Shawnee. Um, I talked with Central Disposal Management and as you're all aware, the new <clears throat> terms of an agreement and as they stated in the request uh, from our proposal is will be a slight increase in their garbage collection fees for the citizens of Shawnee. Um, I spoke with, with Central's management and they are that considering the, the circumstances that we're in with the local and national economies, uh, they were willing to defer the rate increase that would have started July 1st to uh, 90 days out from from when we would begin uh, contracting for the next term of the agreement. Uh, so that would put a rate increase uh, October 1st instead of July 1 uh, as, as our citizens are recovering from the effects of the pandemic, uh, uh, both you know, in, in their personal uh, affairs. One thing, is gonna, answer. one thing is gonna help them, the fuel costs are about half of what they usually are. Absolutely. And, I'd also like to mention that Central has not raised rates uh, in, I believe, more than five years. So this is a, uh, they've been very, very uh, gracious uh, to the city and, and its citizens. I'd move we approve the memorandum of understanding. Moved by Commissioner Herod. Is there a second? Second. Who, who was that? Ed. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Call the roll. Holt? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Herod? Yes. Finley? Yes. Rutherford? Yes. Seahorn? Yes. Salter? Yes. Thank you. Uh, item four, consideration of resolution declaring it to be a matter of public necessity to acquire certain easements for the purpose of construction and expansion. Improvements known as the proposed Kickapoo Street paving project describing said easements and authorizing city manager and the city attorney to acquire said easements by purchase or by way of eminent domain. Chance? Uh, Chance, you might want to address what we talk about on the addresses instead of the just those numbers so that we can all get an idea of uh, why we can't release old addresses. Sure. Uh, Mr. Mayor and commissioners, the, this is a resolution. We, as you're all aware, we have been uh, working through the right of way acquisition process on Kickapoo for the new uh, construction of the spur to Farrell Street. As of today, we've secured about two thirds of uh, the, the property's easements and right of ways that we will need. This resolution has about a third of the properties left, which is about 50 properties. Uh, we're working through negotiations first. If the negotiations fail, we'll move to condemnation. On these, this is just an authorization for uh, administration to move um, into. It, it authorizes us to to work through the eminent domain process in the event the negotiations fail. Uh, 
uh, as far as the, the addresses and things go, these are all uh, sealed and not subject to open record due to th these are all um, uh, negotiations that, that could potentially move into litigation. So these are, th th these are not open. This is not open information under the Freedom of Information Act. Okay. If you have any, I have Nick Atwood. He is our, he's the attorney we've hired to work through the eminent domain procedures. If you have any questions that are, that are technical, he is more than happy to help. <clears throat> Anyone have any questions for Nick? If none would entertain a motion to approve. I move to approve. Moved by Commissioner Gillum. Is there a second. second? Second by Commissioner Herod. Uh, read the title. Joe, you want to read the title? Or you want to read? Okay. <laughs> Resolution declaring it a matter of public necessity to acquire certain easements for the purpose of construction and expansion improvements known as the proposed Kickapoo Street Paving Project, describing said easements and authorizing the city manager and the city attorney to acquire said easements by purchase or by way of eminent domain. Call the roll. Bolt. Yes. Gillum? Yes. Herod? Yes. Finley? Yes. Rutherford? Yes. Seahorn? Yes. And Salter? Commissioner Salter? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Item five, public hearing and consideration of an ordinance to rezone property located at 15226 South School Road from A1 Rural Agricultural District to A1 Rural Agricultural District with a conditional use permit for a guest cottage. Case P0720, applicant Jenny Collins. Rebecca? So this is a school land commission lake lot lease. However, it does fall under the same um, lake protection zone in our code, uh, which is under section 22-120 and item 8 talks about those three conditions for approval and the guest cabin shall not exceed 600 square feet, it shall not be sublet, and it shall share a common drive with primary residents. Um, this was permitted by our building department three years ago as just a single structure on the property under 400 square feet. At this time, they would like to build a new uh, single family home that keep this for purposes for when family visits from out of state. And um, the planning commission recommended approval of this item unanimously seven to zero. And staff would also recommend conditional approval of this item with the three conditions listed below. Any, any questions of Rebecca? Is there any further discussion among the board? Is what are those three conditions? The three conditions, can... they yeah. are, it shall not... sorry, I'm getting a little feedback. And the guest cabin shall not exceed 600 square feet. This one is 384. And the guest cabin shall not be sublet. And the guest cabin shall share a common drive with the primary residence, which they've agreed to do. Great. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? I'm to open the public hearing. Public hearing. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, declare the public <laughs> hearing open. Uh, is there, I know there's some, Jenny wants to speak in favor. Miss Collins, can you hear us? I, uh, yes, I can hear you. Sorry, I was having trouble connecting. <laughs> you have can the you floor. Hello? Yes. Are, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Go ahead and say what you want to say. They said yes. Wait, my name is Joe. Uh, yes, uh, 
My name is uh, Jenny Collins, and uh, I have a conditional use permit uh, for the property at uh, 15226 South School Road. Uh, we have submitted a building permit application to the city of Shawnee to build a new home, and we uh, are at the first step right now with uh, approval for the to be kept after we start building the home. So I would. Uh, like for you to uh, consider our request so we can continue uh, on building. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else to speak in favor? Is there anyone to speak in opposition? Uh, the public hearing is closed. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Second. With, With the condition. Absolutely. With the conditions, okay. Right. Motion by Bolt was the second by, who was the second? Rutherford. Rutherford. Sure. Read the title. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. An ordinance concerning the zoning classification of the following described property located within, within the corporate limits of the city of Shawnee, Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma, to wit. Lot 29, <laughs> Shawnee, of the city of Shawnee, Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma. According to the recorded plat thereof from zoning classification A1, Rural Agricultural District to A1, Rural Agricultural District with a conditional use permit and amending the official zoning map of the city of Shawnee accordingly. Thank you, call the roll. Bolt. Yes. Gillum. Yes. Herod. Yes. Finley. Yes. Rutherford. Yes. Seahorn. Yes. And Salter. Yes. Thank you. Uh, item six, acknowledge the monthly sales tax and budget report. Ashley. I am still muted. Oh, okay, there I am. Yes, hello. So the good news is there's no budget amendments this week, but our total May sales tax deposit was $1,561,504.19, which was 12.15% below the monthly budget. However, the good news is that we are still 2.3% above year to date. Um, use tax continues to come in higher than expected. We were 22.12% above monthly budget and we still sit 27.25% above year to date. Budget wise, we are doing okay. Um, we've had a few little unexpected, unexpected expenditures obviously with COVID, but at this moment, our revenue is still supporting our budget and we are constantly monitoring that. So I'm happy to take any questions. Somewhere back in that information, in your information package, it looked like May was going to be off 17%. And in your commentary, okay. in your commentary, you mentioned that uh, May could come in off 15% and we would still be okay with our budget. Am I reading that incorrectly? Okay, or it's possible that, okay, so our sales tax receipts versus the prior year was 15% less. Now we can, according to current calculations, be about 17% below budget in June and still make our sales tax for the year. Is so that what you're referring to? I think that's my question. Okay. Yeah. That's hard. Anyone else have any questions of Ashley? Well, the only comment I have, I just hope it's, it's done and saved the 17% because you know, the states, uh, this came in at 44%, and I know that includes the gross production, which is a, mm -hmm. took a hit, but anyhow, I'm, yeah, that's one that's really concerned about the, about the income next month or the next couple of months. Yes, and we are constantly monitoring that to make sure that we are in line. So, so that 12% reduction was what, for three weeks in March? So this is for March estimates. And so it's like the first, yeah, the first two or three weeks of March and we'll get final March's next month. 
So we still have two full months, April and May, to go. Yes. And you're and you're saying that we probably would be okay if we with the seventeen percent that we've got. Thank goodness for the use tax. Yeah. And so and let me correct myself, I apologize. These are final March and and April estimates. I apologize. I always have to remember myself. But yes, so June collections and the, the collections we get in the month of June, cash basis could be seventeen percent below projected budget. Is your budget based on cash basis? Yes. Okay. So if the accrual is different, then that's going to be picked up in the next fiscal year? Correct. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, Ashley. Is there any new business? No new business, sir. Okay. Commissioner's comments. Let's go backwards this time. Ben, you go first. <laughs> well, I... Uh... Like I said, thank goodness for the use tax. That's helped us tremendously. And uh, I guess I can say congratulations to the Shawnee High School class of 2020 and their parade that they had today down uh, Kekapu Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just hold our breath till the end of the fiscal year. And that's it. Okay, Mark. Yeah, I've been a little disappointed with Spectra also, just the lack of information they've kind of fed to the commission on what's going on, what they're bringing in. I know with the COVID-19, you know, a lot of stuff is canceled, but, uh, you know, you really don't see much in the paper or anything of that nature. So a little, little disappointed there. You know, they've been, you know, here a year now or close to it. So, uh, you know, we'll, we knew it wouldn't be an overnight change. On the plus side, I really think sales tax is gonna be good. We have been extremely busy over the last three or four weeks. I think the stimulus money, people are kind of spending it. So hopefully, you know, that's going on at other places other than just us. But uh, hopefully, you know, we won't get that 17% that we have the, the cushion there. But that's that's about all I've got. Okay, Darren. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of reiterate what they said. It's nice to see the the uh, stimulus money being being used. We've we've maintained a pretty decent number. So hopefully, with now the restaurants opening back up and everyone else starting to slowly open up, hopefully it it. Uh, Picks back up and we can maintain our budget. And I hope in this process everyone can stay safe and continue to follow the guidelines that we need to follow. Uh, keep the, the distancing and everything. It's, it's easy to let up on that and we can't let up on that and, and stay, stay safe. We need to keep doing it. And lastly, my condolences to uh, Commissioner Bolt on the loss of his dad. Okay, James. Great. I would agree with uh, with Darren on the condolences to you, Ed, on the loss of his father. Thanks, James. <clears throat> I also was worrying about, you know, talking about the graduation. This is a very unusual year. You talk about the Shawnee graduation, every one of them, uh, the local schools have kind of handled it differently, but uh, this, uh, I was in the school business 30 some years, and this is first time I've ever seen anything like this personally. So I think the schools are doing the best they can to, to deal with it. I mentioned again, I was very concerned about what's going to happen in our tax, uh, taxes for the next few months. I remind everybody, uh, you know, shop Shawnee and stay safe. And uh, I hopefully uh, we'll be getting started on the police station remodel. I hope this week, right, Chance? I said the police station remodel starting this week or? Yes, sir. Today. Okay. Today. Okay, great. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, James. Uh, Ron? Yeah, it uh, is kind of ironic that the one of the drugs that was originally done as a therapeutic for the uh, virus, the hydroxychloroquine, 
looks like is going to come through as being very viable for us. At 88 cents a pill, rather than the $1,000 that some of the more new uh, proposals come through, it's a big kind of a heartfelt uh, present for us, if that's true. Uh, secondly, though, uh, the seeing the city come back together again, seeing it come alive again, the reawakening of our country, uh, is uh, again so terribly important, especially the timing, to try to save the economy that is, was absolutely the best in the world. Uh, and in timing is that's very important that we get it back together. But uh, again, for the uh, all the graduates that had to go through a system that was different, uh, unusual and vague for as far as the appreciation of the public. Uh, I'm sorry for that for them, but thank God they're still here and thank God our nation is moving forward. Um, also the uh, Republic that we have right now, of course, is the reliant people, self-reliant, and we like to see that come back in its full glory. And I think we're perfectly capable of doing that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Ron. Ed? All righty. Um, a few thank yous. Um, thank you for the s staff and the, the financial reports that we get each month. Those are very, very helpful and easy to understand, and um, you guys have done a good job, and I think we're in a lot better position than we were a couple of years ago. And it's a good thing because, you know, here we had this COVID situation and tough times. And like James has said, you know, more than once, we, we don't know what the next couple of months are going to be, but uh, you guys, are, I think are doing a good job trying to get us through that. Uh, the senior parade, uh, we went out and watched that today and participated in that. And, and that was amazing. I thought, um, thank you for the, the school system and, um, the police and fire being involved in that, that, that was really neat. I wouldn't mind seeing that happen every year with our, our seniors. Um, I'm glad to see movement on the Kickapoo project. It's always good to see things moving forward, and, and, and that was good to hear tonight. Um, also, I'd echo what most of the other commissioners said about, let's you know, keep shopping in Shawnee. We've got to have that sales tax revenue here. So, um, man, it looks like places have been pretty busy, so... Uh, you know, please, please keep that up, spend your money here in town. And then finally, um, as some of you mentioned, you know, my dad passed away uh, be a week ago tomorrow. Um, you always know you're going to face that, you know, we always know we're going to lose our parents and, um, and, you know, that's not a pleasant thing, but, you know, he is 87 years old and he was happy and healthy until the very last day. And he just went to sleep. And when I found him that morning, he just looked like he'd curled up snug as a bug and, and, you know, we all should be that lucky, but uh, lots of kind words from lots of people around Shawnee. We've got a lot of good folks here in town and they've reached out to us and, and that's really made us feel good. So uh, thank you very much. And I think that's all I got. So Richard, it's all yours. Thank you. Uh, uh, congratulations to the grads. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that this day has come without, uh, without us having a, a severe setback in terms of health. Uh, I, I guess uh, I echo the thoughts that that Mark and James have expressed in terms of of the expo. Uh, I mm -hmm. completely understand that events are going to get canceled and and uh, in the environment that we're in, and that's completely understandable. It's not completely understandable if they're failing to maintain the place, and that concerns me greatly. So when we have our discussion with them, Let's, let's make sure that we get that. It, it seems to me that there's a lot more activity around town when I'm out than there was a couple of weeks ago. So I'm, I'm encouraged by that. And uh, I also would like to hand out some kudos to the Shawnee Public Schools. They have passed out uh, something like 100,000 meals during this. And so they, they have tried to take care of those people that need assistance and, and are worried about what they're going to eat. And uh, the staff, uh, they've been delivering meals on school, on school buses and the staff has really stepped up and, uh, and they sure get an attaboy for that. So with that, we are adjourned to the Shawnee Airport Authority and would consider a motion to approve the consent agenda. So move. Moved by Commissioner Herod. Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt, I think I heard. Yes, sir. Uh, call the roll. Bolt. Yes. Gillum. Yes. Herod. Yes. Finley. Yes. Rutherford. Yes. Behorn. Yes. Salter. Yes. 
<clears throat> Item two, consideriza consideration of authorization to advertise request for bids, invitation to bid on runway and taxiway rehabilitation at Shawnee Regional Airport. Bonnie? Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Commissioners. Thank you for having me. <clears throat> we are seeking authorization at this time to publish this sort of standard advertisement in the Shawnee News Star and the County Wide Sun to solicit bids for the construction phase of this project. Uh, you may recall that uh, we have not done a whole lot of work of this magnitude since about 2012. So it's time for the uh, runway and taxiway to be resurfaced. You may also recall that we are receiving funding for this project through the Federal Aviation Administration. And it is necessary for us to have bids in hand when we apply for the grant funding, uh, showing exactly the cost that we will be uh, asking them to assist with. Um, We've also received money from the uh, recent stimulus package for grants, as well as you may recall the special discretionary money that we received in the 2019 uh, distribution uh, for infrastructure projects. So it is a $1 million plus project, which the city of Shawnee and the Shawnee Airport will be assuming about $30,000 worth of cost on. Any, any questions of Bond? I uh, will close on the property that was sold. Out at the airport. Have no, closed? We have not, no, so we have not closed on the Metro Mart sale yet. Uh, we were reviewing the proper form of deed for that closure, but this particular project is not uh, influenced by those funds. Those funds are sequestered. Oh, I, I didn't think it right was, there. but I just asking for information. I don't know if Chance has more he wants to add. No, ma'am, we have not closed. Any other questions of Bonnie? I move we authorize the request for bid. Moved by Commissioner Hare to authorize request for bid. Is there a second? Second. Second. If, uh, I heard Darren. Call the roll. Bolt. Yes. Gillum. Yes. Herod. Yes. Finley. Yes. Rutherford. Yes. Seahorn. Yes. And Salter. Yes. Thank you. Is there any new business? No new we business. Are, we are adjourned to the Shawnee Municipal Authority. Item one would consider a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Moved by Commissioner Bolt. Second. Second by Commissioner Harrod. Call the roll. Bolt? Yes. Gillum? Yes. Herod? Yes. Finley? Yes. Rutherford? Yes. Seahorn? Yes. And Salter? Yes. Thank you. Is there any new business? No new business, sir. We are adjourned.